Breast cancer touched my life when my mother was diagnosed. My sister was diagnosed. When my wife was diagnosed. Three aunts. When my mom was diagnosed. When my life partner and my best friend was diagnosed. I was diagnosed at the age of 47. When I was 31. 34. 26. 31. She was healthy. I exercised and I didn't smoke. She didn't have a family history of breast cancer. I didn't have any of the risk factors. At that young age, I began to wonder why. Why? Why? And what can I do so that this doesn't happen to other young women? To my daughters. My sister. Me. One in eight women will be diagnosed with breast cancer. More and more scientific evidence is linking breast cancer to the chemicals in our everyday environment. Chemicals. 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 In our food, products, air, and water. Over 80,000 synthetic chemicals are registered for use in the United States. 80,000. Fewer than 10% have been fully tested for their health effects. As chemicals played a growing role in commerce, breast cancer rates increased. More chemicals, more breast cancer. The good news is we can do something about it. We can create change. Like using the simplest, most pure products. Like buying hormone-free meat and dairy products. BPA-free drinking bottles. Non-toxic cleaning products. Using cosmetics with non-toxic ingredients. Individual action is good, but not enough. We need big picture, big picture, big picture change. We need to reduce the risk for all women. That's why I joined the Breast Cancer Fund, the only national breast cancer organization focused on connecting the dots between the high rates of breast cancer and environmental exposure. Together, we're telling companies we want safe, non-toxic products. We're telling elected officials we want smarter laws that protect our health. We're finding solutions so our children, grandchildren, our planet can thrive. We need you. We need you. Join us. Join us. Join us at breastcancerfund.org. Prevention starts here.